Okay, here we go. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. St. John. Sergeant, so, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. I yeah, fr fr from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, w west of Crater Lake. A wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and go, nine this go, year. Go, go, Canada, yeah, you're a long way from home. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he uh, g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Corporal St. John, you, you stay safe, yeah? Hey, yes, Sarge. You have bounties to trade in. Very good. That's all I got for now. Hey, Corporal. So how long were you in? The service. I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, four years, 10th Army, Afghanistan. And like I told the Colonel, I hated every goddamn minute of it. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> You got the eye for it, too, huh? <laughs> Me? No, nothing so grandiose like you. National Guard, together, eight years. Actually kind of low, you know, pushing pencils and Salem and, and playing soldier on the weekends. But you're the real one, deal. Two, one, two, one, two, we all did our part. Yeah, we did it right. Yes, sir, yes, sir. See you, Corporal. Ah, oh, keep that gun close. Corporal St. John, <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <sighs> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor! You're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Highway 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. <sighs> Taylor. This is a sweet ass setup, too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> Oh, shit! I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god damn it. Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed.
Beacon St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm going to be. I'm just sort of their errand boy for now. Actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. If they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I can find it. Good luck, Corporal. Hurry out. Okay, militia bike. That's gotta be hers. It doesn't look too bad. That should do it. Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, seems pretty fortified, sir. Are you, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders. Yes, sir. Okay. Lieutenant, you in here? Uh, 
Okay. Hang on, I'm coming. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? St. John. Thank God I'd given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. Yeah, okay, all right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure, now get going. Go. Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh, well, oh, Jesus, it's easy. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Good work, Colonel. Send the patrol out now. She said she could make it on her own, so, uh, I'll radio in later, make sure she made it. St. John out. Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Corporal, I've just read her report. She claims that you took on an entire drifter camp single-handedly. Well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Very good, Corporal. Captain Curry has put your name in for a promotion. I'm beginning to see why. Or 
worth some credits. Another bounty. Yes. I hope this is enough. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... I'm sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. It's time to bring it in. Take out. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, when my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you.
Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I'm in for stay. No, no, Let's set see. them over there. Thank you. Let's go. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc, this is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no, nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm, my, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that from a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out.